guys welcome to vinyl tv your one-stop channel for everything technology or everything you need to know about technology this is your one-stop channel okay guys today we'll be talking about how you can send your questionnaire or your surveys to people so you can get their opinions and views if you have a look at this channel you will see that um, there's a question there's um, a video on how you can easily create your questionnaire using google form so on this episode, we'll be talking about how you can easily send this already created questions to people. But what I'm going to do, and I'm going to start from my fresh just to make it easier for you. Okay, so firstly, decide on which browser you want to use to do this. I'm just going to use Microsoft Edge because I love my, it's quite easy, faster. So I'm just going to use Microsoft Edge. I'm just going to create, so um, Google Form already have that on the, on the search engine. So here you will see so many um, headings. So I'm just going to use create and analyze surveys. And here it says go to Google Forms. This is personal and this is for Google Workspace. So I'm just going to use personal. And you, you will see this overview. So here, if you want to create a new question, you use blank. But if you have already curated question, you can look for it here. Like now it has contact, RSVP, party invite, t-shirt sign up, event registration. So I don't want to use any of these. So just all I want to use is the blank one because I want to curate a new question. I'm just gonna click on blank. So here, I'm just gonna show you maybe about one or two questions. Then you can progress to how you can have this question or service sent to people and get their views and opinions. Remember when creating your questionnaires, you have so many options here. This is multiple choice. So it depends on what you want. If you have, if you want so many drop down, I don't, I will, I will advise to make your questionnaire very easy for, for so you can get any very um, concise answers from your, from your audience. So I tend to use my multiple choice because it's very easy to just click on the choice you want to, uh, you want to answer on. So here is a title form. Whatever you want to name your title is, um, let's assume you say housing. I'm just gonna use um, housing as okay. So here, my my description is start is housing. I'm gonna talk about housing. So now this is a question. This is the first one. Questions. So my question will be, what is housing? What is housing? So when you say what is housing, you can put option to say, um, or oh, do you do you agree housing is good? For example, let's just use this one. Do you agree housing is good? housing is good remember your questionnaire always has to be in present tense it shouldn't be in the past tense so it has to be in the present tense so you can say do you agree your do you agree housing is good so it, that's the one that says suggestions and or yes no or maybe i'm just gonna use the suggestion it says add or i'm just gonna see so you see we use that option it automatically has add um your answers for you it has yes no maybe i'm just gonna add order you know order is maybe if you don't want to answer anything, if you just, just want to remain silent, you don't want your response to count, you can use order. I'm just going to use order. Add order. So, and that's it. That's the first question. I'm just going to create the second one. It says, second question. Is housing cheap? I'm just going to use that as a second question. Is housing cheap? So now the question is do I need to add um, a question mark because it's a question. So this is a question, is housing cheap? Yes or no? Okay, I'm just gonna use Google suggestion. Yes, maybe. So now, 
I'm just gonna use these two examples to show you. So now we have all our questions all set out. So the next thing now is you want to send it to people to get their opinions on your survey. So sometimes, so when you, you send to people, this is responses. So you get a response from people here. And uh, if you said about maybe 30 people, if you get 30 responses, it's going to appear there on your responses section here. You're going to get your responses there. So after you've created this survey, all you have to do is click on send. So when you click on send, you will see these icons. It's asking you send via either email. This is a, a link icon. If you click on it, you will see it says link. You don't have to stress yourself trying to copy this URL. All you have to do is just click on the button that says copy. When you send copy, it's copied. So, so if you don't have as much as email you, uh, you want to send to people or if you don't have much email, you can easily send to link. You can click on the link and copy the link. So when you copy the link, now you have to, you can send through WhatsApp, which sometimes I try to use WhatsApp because WhatsApp is very faster and easier. You can reach too many people as possible. So I've copied the link. Just click on the copy, copy button and click on it. Now guys, I'm gonna jump in here, okay? So the next thing you need to do is to send this to WhatsApp. So you need to go to WhatsApp, for instance. I have a WhatsApp web on this platform, okay? So um, you go to the WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is about to open, okay? So with the name of people, um, you like. So I just need to click it on this, okay? For instance, and click you can send it to any particular person okay uh, you can send this to any particular person and click send okay so right now you can see this is the questionnaire sent to somebody okay okay so i send it to um my wife okay so this question now right now is sent to my wife okay so uh she's gonna bring her mobile phone to show this to you for you to see okay so she's going to bring her mobile phone now to show you so i send this i have whatsapp web if you are wondering so i send this via whatsapp web which you can do okay so right now this questionnaire is sent via whatsapp web okay so right now okay so right now if you want to um, see the response okay so right now you can see uh, so she already answered the response okay so right now this is the response this is where you get the information okay so she already answered it okay and this is how to do this so um, but also you can also send it as email as well you know so if you click send then you type the email address of the person like uh, this is my I can also type it to my em em email okay and uh, so type the email address of the person okay once you're happy the next thing you need to do is uh, include form in the email so click include form to the email and click send okay and this for right now is sent to my email so what i also want us to do we go back to my inbox okay and uh, right now see if this form is there on my inbox so this is my inbox so i'm just checking to see if it's there sometimes it takes a bit of time so sometimes What I'm doing right now is just refreshing my email. Sometimes it takes a bit of time, okay? But this is how to, to do this, okay? So you can actually send this to somebody via email, okay? Uh, but it will take a bit of time to, to come, as far as uh, I'm aware, okay? Um, but this is how to send this to people, okay? So we have done example. Good example is... Um, Okay, so right now, just gonna 
Okay, so the other thing, okay, let me see my junk mail. Maybe it's in my junk mail. It's possible. Here we go. Junk. <laughs> here we go. So the question is here. So it's there on my junk email. So, okay, so this is not junk. So right now it's gone back. Here we go. So this is the question, Google form question. Okay, so this is the, about housing. Do you see? Is housing cheap? So Google form. Okay. So guys, I thought to show you, um, so you can actually create this question and send it to people. You can send it uh, to, to Google, okay? So and you can also answer these questions, okay? And uh, return. So you just need to click open the form. Once you click open the form, then you answer it. Uh, yes. And click submit, okay? On title form, submit, okay? So right now this form is submitted. From my inbox okay so if you go to the response you see we have two response here the first one was responded by my wife so this second one right now is responded by myself you can see it okay guys thank you very much indeed i appreciate you thank you very much if you find this valuable um, and helpful please do consider to subscribe we're here to support you uh, doing your business work or coursework thank you